Mandaism or Mandaeanism Arabic, is a Gnostic religion with a strongly dualistic worldview. Its adherents, the Mandaeans, revere Adam, Abel, Seth, Enos, Noah, Shem, Aram, and especially John the Baptist. The Mandaeans are Semites and speak a dialect of Eastern Aramaic known as Mandaic. The name Mandian is said to come from the Aramaic Manda meaning knowledge, as does Greek Gnosis. Within the Middle East, but outside of their community, the Mandians are more commonly known as the Suba singular, Subi or Sabians. The term Suba is derived from the Aramaic root related to baptism, the Neo-Mandaic is Sabi. In Islam, the Sabians Arabic, al al -sabi -un, are described several times in the Quran as people of the book, alongside Jews and Christians. Occasionally, Mandians are called Christians of St. John. According to most scholars, Mandaism originated sometime in the first three centuries AD, in either southwestern Mesopotamia or the Syro-Palestinian area. However, some scholars take the view that Mandaeanism is older and dates from pre-Christian times. The religion has been practiced primarily around the Lower Karun, Euphrates and Tigris and the rivers that surround the Shat al-Arab waterway, part of southern Iraq and Khuzestan province in Iran. There are thought to be between 60,000 and 70,000 Mandians worldwide. Until the 2003 Iraq War, almost all of them lived in Iraq. Many Mandian Iraqis have since fled their country because of the turmoil created by the 2003 invasion of Iraq and subsequent occupation by U.S. armed forces, and the related rise in sectarian violence by Muslim extremists. By 2007, the population of Mandians in Iraq had fallen to approximately 5,000. The Mandians have remained separate and intensely private. Reports of them and of their religion have come primarily from outsiders, particularly from Julius Heinrich Petermann, a scholar in Iranian studies, as well as from Nicolas Soufi, a Syrian Christian who was the French vice consul in Mosul in 1887, and British cultural anthropologist Lady E. S. Drower. There is an early if highly prejudiced account by the French traveller Jean-Baptiste Tavernier from the 1650s. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The term Mandaeism comes from classical Mandaic Mandaya and appears in Neo-Mandaic as Mandayana. On the basis of cognates in other Aramaic dialects, Semiticists such as Mark Lidsbarski and Rudolf Makush have translated the term manda, from which mandaya derives, as knowledge. Cf. Aramaic, Maneda Manda in Dan, 221, 431, 33, 512, cf. Hebrew, Mada Mada, with characteristic assimilation of n, to the following consonant, medial nd hence becoming dd. This etymology suggests that the Mandians may well be the only sect surviving from late antiquity to identify themselves explicitly as Gnostics. Other scholars derive the term Mandaya from Manda Dhayi, Mandaic Manda Dhiia, knowledge of life, in reference to the chief divinity Hiia Rbia, the great life. Or from the word by Mandi, which is the cultic hut in which many Mandian ceremonies are performed, such as the baptism, which is the central sacrament of Mandian religious life. This last term is possibly to be derived from Pavali Mandi Mand, house. Topic: <laughs> History. According to the Mandian text the Haran Gawaita, the recorded history of the Mandians began when a group called the Nasorians the Mandian priestly caste as opposed to the laity, left Palestine and migrated to Mesopotamia in the 1st century AD. The reason given for this was their persecution by the community in Jerusalem in the course of which the city was destroyed as a punishment. The emigrants went first to Haran, probably Haran in modern-day Turkey, and then the Median hills in Iran, before finally settling in the southern provinces of Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq. At the beginning of the Muslim conquest of Mesopotamia, the leader of the Mandians, Anush son of Danka, appeared before Muslim authorities, showing them a copy of the Ginza Rabbah, the Mandian holy book, and proclaiming the chief Mandian prophet to be John the Baptist, who is also mentioned in the Quran. This identified Mandians with the Sabians who are mentioned in the Quran as being counted among the Al Al Khattab people of the book. This provided Mandians a status as a legal minority religion within the Muslim empire. The Mandians were henceforth associated with the Sabians and the Jewish Christian group the Elchazet, on account of the location of all three in Mesopotamia in the early centuries AD, and the similarities in their beliefs. The importance of baptism in the rituals of all three is particularly marked. 
Like the Mandians, the Sabians were also said to be Gnostics and descended from Noah. Mandians continue to be identified with Sabians up to the present day, but the exact relationship between the three groups however, remains unclear. Around 1290, a learned Dominican Catholic from Tuscany, Ricoldo da Montecroci, or Ricoldo Panini, was in Mesopotamia where he met the Mandians. He described them as follows, A very strange and singular people, in terms of their rituals, lives in the desert near Baghdad, they are called Sabaeans. Many of them came to me and begged me insistently to go and visit them. They are a very simple people and they claim to possess a secret law of God, which they preserve in beautiful books. Their writing is a sort of middle way between Syriac and Arabic. They detest Abraham because of circumcision and they venerate John the Baptist above all. They live only near a few rivers in the desert. They wash day and night so as not to be condemned by God. Mandians were called Christians of St. John by members of the Discalced Carmelite Mission in Basra during the 16th century, based upon their preliminary reports. Some Portuguese Jesuits had also met some St. John Christians around the Strait of Hormuz in 1559, when the Portuguese fleet fought with the Ottoman Turkish army in Bahrain. These Mandians seemed to be willing to obey the Catholic Church. They learned and used the seven Catholic sacraments and the related ceremonies in their lives. Topic. Beliefs Mandaism, as the religion of the Mandian people, is based more on a common heritage than on any set of religious creeds and doctrines. A basic guide to Mandian theology does not exist. The corpus of Mandian literature, though quite large, covers topics such as eschatology, the knowledge of God and the afterlife—in an unsystematic manner. Moreover, it is known only to the priesthood and a few laypeople. Topic. Fundamental tenets According to E. S. Drower, the Mandian Gnosis is characterized by nine features, which appear in various forms in other Gnostic sects. A supreme formless entity, the expression of which in time and space is creation of spiritual, etheric, and material worlds and beings. Production of these is delegated by it to a creator or creators who originated in it. The cosmos is created by archetypal man, who produces it in similitude to his own shape. Dualism, a cosmic father and mother, light and darkness, right and left, syzygy in cosmic and microcosmic form. As a feature of this dualism, counter types, a world of ideas. The soul is portrayed as an exile, a captive, its home and origin are the supreme entity, to which the soul eventually returns. Planets and stars influence fate and human beings, and are also places of detention after death. A savior spirit or savior spirits which assist the soul on the journey through life and after it to worlds of light. A cult language of symbol and metaphor. Ideas and qualities are personified. Mysteries, i.e. sacraments to aid and purify the soul, to ensure rebirth into a spiritual body, and ascent from the world of matter. These are often adaptations of existing seasonal and traditional rites to which an esoteric interpretation is attached. In the case of the Nasaurians this interpretation is based upon the creation story see 1 and 2, especially on the divine man, Adam, as crowned and anointed king-priest. Great secrecy is enjoined upon initiates, full explanation of 1, 2, and 8 being reserved for those considered able to understand and preserve the Gnosis. Topic. Cosmology As noted above Mandian theology is not systematic. There is no one single authoritative account of the creation of the cosmos, but rather a series of several accounts. Some scholars, such as Edmondo Lupieri, maintain that comparison of these different accounts may reveal the diverse religious influences upon which the Mandians have drawn and the ways in which the Mandian religion has evolved over time. In contrast with the religious texts of the Western Gnostic sects formerly found in Syria and Egypt, the earliest Mandian religious texts suggest a more strictly dualistic theology, typical of other Iranian religions such as Zoroastrianism, Zervanism, Manichaeism, and the teachings of Mazdak. In these texts, instead of a large pleroma, there is a discrete division between light and darkness. The ruler of darkness is called P. Tahil, similar to the Gnostic Demiurge, and the originator of the light i.e. God is only known as the great first life from the worlds of light, the sublime one that stands above all works. 
When this being emanated, other spiritual beings became increasingly corrupted, and they and their ruler P. Tahil created our world. The name P. Tahil is suggestive of the Egyptian Ptah. The Mandians believe that they were resident in Egypt for a while. Joined to the Semitic El, meaning, God. The issue is further complicated by the fact that P. Tahil alone does not constitute the Demiurge but only fills that role insofar as he is the creator of our world. Rather, P. Tahil is the lowest of a group of three demiurgic beings, the other two being Ushaman aka Joshaman and Abathur. Abathur's demiurgic role consists of his sitting in judgment upon the souls of mortals. The role of Ushaman, the senior being, is more obscure, wanting to create a world of his own, he was severely punished for opposing the king of light. The name may derive from Eauhaz Samayim in Hebrew, Yahweh, of the heavens. While Mandians agree with other Gnostic sects that the world is a prison governed by the planetary archons, they do not view it as a cruel and inhospitable one. Topic. Chief prophets Mandians recognize several prophets. Yahya ibn Zakariya, known to Christians as John the Baptist, is accorded a special status, higher than his role in Christianity and Islam. Mandians do not consider John to be the founder of their religion but revere him as one of their greatest teachers, tracing their beliefs back to Adam. Mandians maintain that Jesus was a emsiha kadaba, false messiah, who perverted the teachings entrusted to him by John. The Mandaic word k-a-daba, however, might be interpreted as being derived from either of two roots, the first root, meaning, to lie, is the one traditionally ascribed to Jesus, the second, meaning, to write might provide a second meaning, that of book. Hence some Mandians, motivated perhaps by an ecumenical spirit, maintain that Jesus was not a lying messiah, but a book messiah. The book in question presumably being the Christian Gospels. This seems to be a folk etymology without support in the Mandian texts. Likewise, the Mandians believe that Abraham and Moses were false prophets, but recognize other prophetic figures from the Abrahamic religions, such as Adam and his grandson Anus, Enos, as well as Na, Noah, his son Sam, Shem, and his son Ram, Aram. The latter three they consider to be their direct ancestors. Mandians consider the Holy Spirit in the Talmud and Bible, which is known in Mandaic as the Ruha di Kudsha, to be an evil being. Topic. Scriptures The Mandians have a large corpus of religious scriptures, the most important of which is the Ginza Rba or Ginza, a collection of history, theology, and prayers. The Ginza Rba is divided into two halves the Genza Smala or left Ginza and the Genza Yamina or right Ginza. By consulting the Colophons in the left Ginza, Jerun J. Buckley has identified an uninterrupted chain of copyists to the late 2nd or early 3rd century. The Colophons attest to the existence of the Mandians or their predecessors during the late Parthian Empire at the very latest. The oldest texts are lead amulets from about the 3rd century AD, followed by magic bowls from about AD 600. The important religious manuscripts are not older than the 16th century, with most coming from the 18th and 19th centuries, although the Ginza continued to evolve under the rule of the Sasanian Empire and the Islamic Caliphates, few textual traditions can lay claim to such extensive continuity. Another important text is the Haran Gawaita which tells the history of the Mandians. According to this text, a group of Nasorians Mandian priests left Judea after the destruction of Jerusalem in the 1st century CE, and settled within the Parthian Empire. Other important books include the Colusta, the canonical prayer book of the Mandians, which was translated by E. S. Drower. One of the chief works of Mandian scripture, accessible to laymen and initiates alike, is the Mandian Book of John Lidzbarski, Mark. Das Johannesbuch der Mandar. Giesen, Toppelman, which includes a dialogue between John and Jesus. In addition to the Ginza, Kolusta, and Drassa, there is the Divan, which contains a description of the regions the soul ascends through, and the Asfar Malwash, the Book of the Zodiacal Constellations. Finally, there are some pre-Muslim artifacts that contain Mandian writings and inscriptions, such as some Aramaic incantation bowls. The language in which the Mandian religious literature was originally composed is known as Mandaic, and is a member of the Aramaic family of dialects. It is written in a cursive variant of the Parthian chancellery script. 
Many Mandian lay people do not speak this language, though some members of the Mandian community resident in Iran and Iraq continue to speak Neo-Mandaic, a modern version of this language. Topic. Worship The two most important ceremonies in Mandian worship are baptism and a mass for the dead or ascent of the soul ceremony Unlike other religions, baptism is not a one-off event but is performed every Sunday, the Mandian Holy Day. Baptism usually involves full immersion in flowing water, and all rivers considered fit for baptism are called Yardana after the River Jordan. After emerging from the water, the worshipper is anointed with holy oil and partakes of a communion of bread and water. The ascent of the soul ceremony can take various forms, but usually involves a ritual meal in memory of the dead. The ceremony is believed to help the souls of the departed on their journey through purgatory to the world of light. A mandi Arabic, mindi is a place of worship for followers of mandaism. A mandi must be built beside a river in order to perform masbuta or baptism because water is an essential element in the mandiac faith. Modern mandis sometimes have a bath inside a building instead. Each mandi is adorned with a darfash, which is a cross of olive wood half covered with a piece of white pure silk cloth. The cross bears no relation to the Christian cross. Instead the four arms of the cross symbolize the four corners of the universe, while the pure silk cloth represents the light of God. Mandians believe in marriage and procreation, and in the importance of leading an ethical and moral lifestyle in this world. They also place a high priority upon family life. Consequently, Mandians do not practice celibacy or asceticism. Mandians will, however, abstain from strong drink and red meat. Topic organization There is a strict division between Mandian laity and the priests. According to E.S. Drower, the secret Adam, P. X. T. Hose amongst the community who possess secret knowledge are called Nasariya, Nasorians, or, if the emphatic is written as Z, Nazorians. At the same time, the ignorant or semi ignorant laity are called Mandians, Mandaya, Gnostics. When a man becomes a priest, he leaves Mandaeanism and enters Tarmaduta, priesthood. Even then, he has not attained to true enlightenment, for this, called Nasaruta, is reserved for a very few. Those possessed of its secrets may call themselves Nasorians, and Nasorian today indicates not only one who observes strictly all rules of ritual purity, but one who understands the secret doctrine. There are three grades of priesthood in Mandaeism, the Tarmidiya disciples Neo-Mandaic Tarmadana, the Ganzibriya treasurers from Old Persian Ganzabara id, Neo-Mandaic Ganzabrana and the Rasama leader of the people. This last office, the highest level of the Mandian priesthood, has lain vacant for many years. At the moment, the highest office currently occupied is that of the Ganzibra, a title which appears first in a religious context in the Aramaic ritual texts from Persepolis c. 3rd century BCE and which may be related to the Kamnaskars Elamite Kapnusker treasurer, title of the rulers of Elame modern Khuzestan during the Hellenistic Age. Traditionally, any Ganzibra who baptizes seven or more Ganzibrana may qualify for the office of Rasama, though the Mandian community has yet to rally as a whole behind any single candidate. The contemporary priesthood can trace its immediate origins to the first half of the 19th century. In 1831, an outbreak of cholera devastated the region and eliminated most if not all of the Mandian religious authorities. Two of the surviving acolytes Sagandia, Yahya Bairam and Ram Zirun, re-established the priesthood on the basis of their own training and the texts that were available to them. In 2009, there were two dozen Mandian priests in the world, according to the Associated Press. Topic relations with other groups The Mandians have been identified with several groups, in particular the Sabians and the Elkazet. Other groups such as the Nazarenses and the Dosithians have also been identified with the Mandians. The exact relation of all these groups to one another is a difficult question. While it seems certain that a number of distinct groups are intended by these names, the nature of these sects and the connections between them are less than clear. At least according to the Fearist, see below, these groups seem all to have emerged from or developed in parallel with the Sabian followers of El Hasai. El in particular may simply have been a blanket term for Mugtasila, Mandians, the original Sabians, and even Manichaeans. Topic. Sabians The Quran makes several references to the Sabians, who are frequently thought to be Mandians. Sabians are counted among the Al-Al-Khattab, people of the book, and several hadith feature them. 
Arab sources of early Quranic times 7th century also make some references to Sabians. Some scholars hold that the etymology of the root word Sabiun points to origins either in the Syriac or Mandaic word Sabian, and suggest that the Mandian religion originated with Sabians who came under the influence of early Hellenic Sabian missionaries, but preferred their own priesthood. The Sabians believed they belong to the prophet Noah. Similarly, the Mandians claim direct descent from Noah. Early in the 9th century, a group of Hermeticists in the northern Mesopotamian city of Haran declared themselves Sabians when facing persecution. An Assyrian Christian writer said that the true Sabians or Saba lived in the marshes of Lower Iraq. The Assyrian writer Theodore Bar Khanai in the Sholian, 792, described a sect of Sabians who were located in southern Mesopotamia. Al Biruni, writing at the beginning of the 11th century, said that the real Sabians were the remnants of the Jewish tribes who remained in Babylonia when the other tribes left it for Jerusalem in the days of Cyrus and Artaxerxes. These remaining tribes adopted a system mixed up of Magism and Judaism. Elkaset <inaudible> 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 The Elkaset were a Judeo-Christian baptismal sect which seem to have been related, and possibly ancestral, to the Mandians see Sabians. The members of this sect, like the Mandians, wore white and performed baptisms. They dwelt in East Judea and Assyria, whence the Mandians claim to have migrated to southern Mesopotamia, according to the Haran Gawaita legend. In the fearest, Book of Nations. Of Arabic scholar al nadim c. 987, the Mugtasila self-ablutionists are counted among the followers of el hasai or el Qaset. Mogtasila may thus have been al-Nadim's term for the Mandians, as the few details on rituals and habit are similar to Mandians' ones. The el Qaset seem to have prospered for a while, but ultimately splintered. They may have originated in a schism where they renounced the Torah, while the mainstream Sampsians held onto it as el Chasai's followers did. If so, this must have happened around the mid-late first millennium CE. However, it is not clear exactly which group he referred to, for by then the Elkaset sects may have been at their most diverse. Some disappeared subsequently, for example, the Sampsians are not well attested in later sources. The Ginza Rba, one of the chief holy scriptures of the Mandians, appears to originate around the time of Elchasai or somewhat thereafter. Manichaeans According to the Fearest of Ibn al-Nadim, the Mesopotamian prophet Mani, the founder of Manichaeism, was brought up within the Elkaset or Elchaset sect, this being confirmed more recently by the Cologne Mani Codex. Unfortunately, none of the Manichaean scriptures has survived in its entirety, and it seems that the remaining fragments have not been compared to the Ginza Rba. Mani later left the Elkaset to found his own religion. In a comparative analysis, Mandian scholar Save Soderberg indicated that Mani's Psalms of Thomas were closely related to Mandian texts. This would imply that Mani had access to Mandian religious literature, or that both derived from the same source. 4th century Nazarenes The Haran Gawaita uses the name Nasorians for the Mandians arriving from Jerusalem. Consequently, the Mandians have been connected with the 4th century Nazarenes described by Epiphanius. Epiphanius says 29 that they existed before Christ. That is questioned by some, but others accept the pre-Christian origin of this group. <laughs> Docythians They are connected with the Samaritan group the Docythians by Theodore Bar Coney in his Sholian. Topic. Number of adherents Official numbers estimate that the current population of Mandians numbers between 60,000 and 70,000 people. Their proportion in their native lands has collapsed because of the Iraq War, with most of the community relocating to nearby Iran, Syria, and Jordan. In 2011, Al Arabiya put the number of hidden and unaccounted for Iranian Mandians in Iran as high as 60,000. Of the Mandians tallied in official numbers, many have formed diaspora communities outside the Middle East, especially Australia, where some 10,000 now reside, mainly around Sydney, representing 15% of the total world Mandian population. 
According to a 2009 article in the Holland Sentinel, the Mandian community in Iran has also been dwindling, numbering between 5,000 and at most 10,000 people. Approximately 1,000 Iranian Mandians have emigrated to the United States since the U.S. State Department in 2002 granted them protective refugee status, which was also later accorded to Iraqi Mandians in 2007. A community estimated at 2,500 members live in Worcester, Massachusetts, where they began settling in 2008. Most emigrated from Iraq. Topic. See also. Abator Aramaic language Gnosticism Iraqi people Marsh Arabs religion portal Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Haberl, Charles G. 2009, the Neo-Mandaic Dialect of Koramshar, Otto Harisovitz Verlag, ISBN 978-3-447-05874-2 Buckley, Jerun Jacobson, 2002. The Mandians, Ancient Texts and Modern People. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Buckley. J. J. Mandians. In Encyclopedia Iranica. Drower, Ethel Stefana, 2002. The Mandians of Iraq and Iran, Their Cults, Customs, Magic Legends, and Folklore reprint. Piscataway, N.J., Gorges Press. Lupieri, Edmondo, Charles Hindley, Trans, 2002. The Mandians, The Last Gnostics. Grand Rapids, Michigan, W.M. B. Eerdmans Publishing Company. A Brief Note on the Mandians, Their History, Religion and Mythology, Mandian Society in America. Newmarker, Chris, Associated Press Article, Faith Under Fire, Iraq War Threatens Extinction for Ancient Religious Group Headline in the Advocate of Stamford, Connecticut, page A12, February 10, 2007 Peterman, J. Heinrich. 2007 The Great Treasure of the Mandians Reprint of Thesaurus S. Liber Magni. Piscataway, N.J., Gorges Press. Siegelberg, Eric, 1958, Masbuda. Studies in the Ritual of the Mandian Baptism. Uppsala Siegelberg, Eric, 1970, The Ordination of the Mandian Tarmida and Its Relation to Jewish and Early Christian Ordination Rites, in Studia Patristica 10. Eric Siegelberg, Tresa di Taga di Sislam Rabbah. Studies in the Rite called the Coronation of Sislam Rabbah, I. Zur Sprache und Literatur der Mandar, Studia Mandaka 1, Berlin and New York 1976. Siegelberg, Eric, 1977, Zidka Bricka and the Mandian Problem. In Proceedings of the International Colloquium on Gnosticism. Ed. Geo Weidengren and David Hellholm. Stockholm. Siegelberg, Eric, 1978, The Pitta and Mambua Prayers. To the Question of the Liturgical Development Among the Mandians in Gnosis. Festschrift für Hans Jonas. Göttingen. Siegelberg, Eric, 1990, Mandian, Jewish, Christian. How does the Mandian tradition relate to Jewish and Christian tradition? In, Siegelberg, Gnostica Madeca Liturgica, Acta Universitatis Upsaliensis. Historia Religionum 11, Uppsala 1990. Yamauchi, Edwin, 2004. Gnostic Ethics and Mandian Origins reprint. Piscataway, N.J., Gorges Press. Topic external links Mandian Association Union The Mandian Association Union is an international federation which strives for unification of Mandians around the globe. Information in English and Arabic. BBC, Iraq Chaos Threatens Ancient Faith BBC, Mandians, A Threatened Religion Shahab Mirza'i, Ablution of Mandians Ghosle Saban Gesel Sabian, in Persian, Jadid Online, December 18, 2008 Audio Slideshow Showing Iranian Mandians Performing Ablution on the Banks of the Karun River in Avaz, 4 minutes 25 seconds Topic Mandian Scriptures Mandian Scriptures, Kolasta and Haran Gawatha Texts and Fragments Note that the book titled Ginza RBA is not the Ginza RBA but is instead Kolasta, the canonical prayer book of the Mandians as translated by E. S. Drower. Gnostic John the Baptizer, Selections from the Mandian John Book, this is the complete 1924 edition of G. R. S. Mead's classic study of the Mandian John Book, containing excerpts from the scripture itself in the Gnosis Archive Collection, www.gnosis.org. 
The Ginza RBA 1925 German translation by Mark Lidsbarski at the Internet Archive The John Book Complete Text in Mandaic and German Translation 1905 by Mark Lidsbarski at the Internet Archive Mandaic Liturgies, Mandaic Text in Hebrew Transliteration and German Translation 1925 by Mark Lidsbarski at the Internet Archive Topic Books about Mandaism Available online Fragments of a Faith Forgotten by G.R.S. Mead A Complete Version with Old and New Errors, contains information on Mani, Manichaeism, Elkazet, Nasorian Sabians and other Gnostic groups. Published in 1901, still considered authoritative. Extracts from E.S. Drower, Mandians of Iraq and Iran, Leiden, 1962 The Mandians of Iraq and Iran by Lady Drower, 1937 The entire book. 